Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Two Tank Guys. My name is Derek, aka Tank Bro. Today's episode, we're gonna be going over how to properly use the HANA Calcium Checker. Let's do this. All right, so this is the HANA Calcium Checker. Obviously comes in this nice package here. A lot of equipment, don't worry, we're gonna cover everything for you. Before we jump in how to use everything, you do need to have a sample of RO water on hand. Uh, you can get this from your local fish shop or you can simply brew some if you have a RODI system like I do. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the box so it's a little bit easier to use. All right, so step one is to take one milliliter of your Regent, which is in this bottle here, and put that into your test tube. Now to do so, you're gonna use the syringe, which is this guy. And you're gonna put the tip, which is this guy, right on the end of it, it just slides on really snug, like so. And what we're gonna do is put this into the liquid and pull it until the black stopper is at the very end. What you're gonna see is that the tube is gonna remain completely empty and all of the liquid is going to be in the tip, which is what we're going for. So let's do that. There, perfect. And as you can see, all of the liquid is actually in the tip of this guy. And there's nothing in the actual tube itself. And then we go ahead and put that into our test tube. Now step two is to basically fill the rest of your test tube with RO water all the way up to the line. I have a sample here of RO water. I usually use this thing, I believe it's called a pipette. Perfect, so now we have our test tube filled with the region A, one milliliter of the region A, and the rest topped off with RO water. Now what we're gonna do is cap it and invert it a few times. We wanna get it kinda mixed in together. Now, what I've noticed with the HANA checkers is that these tubes have to remain very, very clean, free of any sort of fingerprints on the outside, free of any debris on the inside. So they always recommend letting it sit. Now, once you fire up your HANA checker, you're gonna see something that says C1, add press, it says. So once it's fired up, that means it's ready for the test tube to be put in. Okay, and after we wait, about 15 seconds. Make sure we wipe this off with a microfiber cloth of some sort just to get any sort of fingerprints off. The reader needs it to be 100% free of debris to get an accurate reading. All right, once we waited a little bit of time, we can go ahead and open up your HANA checker. Just pull that up. Obviously it's gonna be empty. Place your test tube in there. Again, make sure it's wiped off completely. Just like so, nothing special. Close it, press the button, and we simply wait. Once it says C2 add press, that means we're ready for the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and open this back up and take the sample of water out. The next step is to get a sample of your tank water. You're gonna be using this for that. All right, this thing looks a little weird. It has basically a few stages, so before you do it, just push this all the way down just so you can feel that it has, it has a stop, and then you could push it even further. You want to pick up water out of your tank at that first stage. You don't want to push it all the way down. So we're gonna take our sample water from our tank, put this in there, give it a push, and then stop when it stops first. Don't go past that. Pull it up. You're gonna see it's a very small amount of water they're looking for. This is all air right here, and then just in the tip. We're gonna go ahead and open up our sample. Add in our sample tank water. And this time, when you put it in, you're gonna go past that first stop. So you go down to the stop and then push even further to make sure everything gets out. Now we're gonna add the powder into the sample. Powder comes in this little packet here. Now what I found a cool way of doing this is uh, just follow the kind of the pattern obviously to cut it. And what you can do to make like a funnel for it is to kind of open it like this and then 
throw a little bend on the end. So maybe it can look something like that. Makes sense. Yeah, so you cut the edges and then make like a little a little funnel for yourself. It's hard to get the powder in there. Go ahead and pour the powder into the test tube. It is purple. You're going to see it look kind of like that. Now it's very important that we cap this and shake it for 15 seconds. And then we're going to let it sit. Now what we're trying to accomplish here is to have no air bubbles in there. Um, so I usually let it sit for about 30 seconds. You don't have to worry about the checker turning off. It will stay on for about 10 minutes. So it takes a long time. All right, and make sure once it sits that you give it some more wipes. You want it free of any sort of fingerprint residue or anything else that you might be left over from the cloth. Um, then you just drop her back into the slot. Go ahead and shut it. Press the button and just wait. My reading is extremely high right now. I had an accidental dosing of calcium that I put in there, so I'm waiting for that to kind of weed out. Uh, I will say that I'm a huge fan of all HANA products. They seem very reliable, uh, easy to use. I know there's a few steps for the calcium um, checker. However, it's a little bit easier in my opinion than putting water in a test tube and dropping drops in there and shaking it. There's a lot that can go wrong with that and it seems to be a little bit inaccurate for me, so I rely on HANA products for uh, more accurate readings. I really hope that was very helpful for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at tankbro. Also hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you want to see in up and coming episodes, feel free to leave them in the comment down below. Hope you guys found that super helpful. Don't forget to purchase your HANA calcium checker. I'll leave a link down below in the comments for you guys to access that.